This is the Marvel Legends series, Avengers Infinity War, Dora Milaje. Actually, the figure is from the Black Panther. We first seen them in Black Panther movie, <clears throat> more before the, the events of Infinity War. And the figure is part of the M'Baku build the figure wave. Here's the rest of the assortment. I picked up these figures at my local Toys R Us and Toy Kingdom stores. Great packaging. Let's get it out. And here are the Dora Milaje out of packaging and they look gorgeous. I mean, if you watched the movie, these figures are worthy of army building. Now each figure comes with the right leg of M'Baku. They also come with these two circular weapons that we've seen in the Nakia figure, as well as the tip of the spear or a spear-shaped weapon, also from the Nakia figure. And they come with three head sculpts, three different head sculpts. And as you can see, I've got two on them. This is the standard head sculpt that came with the, with the figure that came attached to the body of the figure. And these two are the extra head sculpts. And from the looks of things, I'm guessing that uh, this one without the tattoos is Ayo. This one is Soliswa. And this one could be, if I'm not mistaken, Aneka. So I, I don't know, the, the movie doesn't really name them except for Ayo. And yeah, um, I thought, I thought they were okay. It's just that based on the pictures I've seen, uh, the facial tattoos or the facial war tattoos don't really match any of the any of the the Dora Milaje we've seen on the film. As you can see, most of their tattoos are on their forehead. There's one right here who has a vertical sort of war paint on her, but not really anything like this or like that. Ayo is okay, she's spot on because that's how she looks like, so that's fine. Um, and as you can see here, the welcoming party uh, of King, of uh, would-be King T'Challa, that one is probably the closest one to something like this. So yeah, as you can see, most of them have clear facial tattoos and the the markings are usually on the top of their heads and foreheads so i don't know where hasbro got these um designs for the war paint or facial tattoos so okay we'll leave it as that so the figures share the mold of nakia the nakia marvel legends figure that we've already seen in the Okoye wave and it's uh, it's just painted differently but it's the exact same mold. And getting right into the details of the figure, uh, as I mentioned, it does use the Nakia uh, sculpt. Very nice. You get a brand new set of paint apps. Instead of orange, it's more of red, which is very screen accurate. Some quality issues abound. This, you can't they can't eliminate that. Hasbro is still have a ways to go with perfecting their paint technique on the uh, action figures, but it's looking very, very nice. And here's the back. I like it. It's, it's as accurate as can be. As for articulation of the figures, ball jointed neck, it's on a hinge, ball jointed upper torso, ball hinge shoulders, go that way, ball hinge elbows, Wrist uh, swivels and hinge. This one goes in and out. This one goes in and out as well. Ball jointed hips. Thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. No calf swivel. Ball hinge ankles with the rocker pivot. The waist cape is made of the same soft PVC material which we've seen in the Nakia mold. And yep, very cool. Soft armor a soft pvc material for the shoulder armor as well very nice and the spear that not came with nokia is exactly the same one just unpainted it's just silver paint and no black paint the vibranium staffs or spear that they wield uh is the same spear that we've gotten for the okoye build a figure 
uh, figure. It's just that this one is black, made of black and silver. Well, this one is all silver. So um, Hasbro didn't really change it. They didn't put anything, uh, no new molds on it. It's, it's the exact same one. And here they are with King T'Challa. And they look great. I mean, if you have the means to it, this is a fun figure to just army build. And given that it has three head sculpts, you can get another, a third one, and be great to flank uh, the the Black Panther with these Dora Milaje figures. Uh, I thought they were pretty amazing. I thought it's a great way uh, for Hasbro to get uh, collectors who are really into the Black Panther cinematic universe uh, characters to really army build the Dora Milaje. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little video review. This has been the Marvel Legends series from the M'Baku Build-A-Figure Wave Avengers Infinity War Dora Milaje. Thanks for watching.